Hello there, beloved Ascension Pioneers, and welcome to this short video, a short video snippet for me here, somewhere in the middle of the mountains between Italy and Austria. <laughs> so I want to share on how unpredictable life can be at times, because today I went to this beautiful hiking trip, and I went to my favorite lakes. I did some video shooting for the promo for the upcoming mountain gatherings that hopefully will come soon in the near future. So I was just gathering some of the beautiful material from these beautiful Alps that I love with all of my heart and soul. And um, I wanted to go to one of my favorite mountain passes that's here in Italy that takes you to this beautiful elevated spot and somehow I missed the exit. And I ended up <laughs> going a bit further when then I noticed there was a sign for another mountain pass. And I was like, okay, you know, <laughs> I had 13 euros in my wallet and there was 13 kilometers to the mountain pass. And I said, why not? You know, it's obviously a sign. So I came to this beautiful spot here that is between Italy and Austria. And there's first snow here today. <laughs> and the topic of my video is just staying open, staying open to love. Because a lot of times, as Ascension Pioneers, we have those experiences where we rather close our hearts than move on. But the path of Ascension is the path of constant opening, you know, to be so open that in the end, you know, you no longer see the us and them, or this and that, or black or white. It's just... There's this beauty created from everything. And we've all had relationships that we've moved on from or, you know, we no longer had resonance. But I oftentimes see in the New Age circles that, you know, people always say, move on, you know, let that person go, let that thing go. But I, I've shared with you so many times before that we're never actually letting go a person. We're actually letting go the energy that is behind what's being revealed to us. Either it's a lack of balance, a lack of integrity, um, there's not enough mutual reception, there's not enough self-love, value, um, respect. It's just whatever it is, you know, we are the pioneers and we're the ones who need to keep our hearts open. And what this means is that, you know, I keep being shown this vision of a bridge. We are bridge workers. We are the gatekeepers in a way that kind of show people this doorway to this new dimension we're co-creating. We're actually there. It's just, um, we're kind of like you know, raising our fingers up and uh, got stuck here in my uh, microphone. And we're saying, come on, you know, it's, it's okay. It's okay to feel, it's okay to be. And we're not actually being in alignment with our message if we're not heartfelt beings. Because a lot of times I've witnessed this lack of compassion in the spiritual circles with people saying something, but then in the end they, they didn't show up that with their own representation of love because we're not here to be more spiritual or gather more knowledge. We've had all of that. Now we're here to simply be, be so intimate with ourselves and others to never leave a door closed. You know, we always have to, even when we move on, when we leave certain situations and experiences, we still have to keep the door open. Let's say you were meant to assist someone at a certain point and then they gather what they can from you then they move on and you move on but you never know you know um, how sometimes our paths take us to a certain point to a certain person maybe again and you know we're like a DNA spiral always moving further apart and coming back in unison you know the key is always unity consciousness so um, I hope you can hear me because it's very windy here today in these you know <laughs> mountains um, but the thing is you know that it's so important to do this because this is where we are now. We're at this crossing point where a lot of us are moving through that bridge and the bridge never closes its gates. The bridge doesn't, you know, all of a sudden it says, okay, time for the lift off. You know, those of you who haven't crossed this bridge, you know, you're not welcome here. And those of you who have, you know, good luck. <laughs> the thing is that the bridge, you know, the symbology of the bridge is it has both sides and it's balanced and we always move either from one side to the next so it's not something that's fixed, you know, even those of us who are holding these higher frequency levels, we're still going to go and descend to certain areas to kind of see what's there, to, to gather what is there, what's necessary, that which we see there's potential to shift with us and with the collective ascending energy. So. 
it's very important for us to be so open in our hearts to know that love is the essence of a reality, that the meaning of life is to have love, is to be loved, to share love. And it's more important than to just be right, to be so spiritual that in the end we're full of these beliefs and concepts that in truth, when we come into contact with others and we don't always agree with them, or like what they're saying, it keeps us in separate mode rather than seeing the unity of it. Because in my experiences, I've often had people who come and go and they say certain things, you know, within their own mind and limited perspective. And they kind of sometimes go in the areas that are none of their business and they still feel called to say something and to have their opinion. But love has nothing to do with opinions. Love is just valuing, respecting where we are and you know finding the meaning that's behind just the words we, we have to be wiser than just seeing the words that someone's saying and not saying your message is wrong because you're not saying it right or i don't resonate with what you said so you better say it this way this is control that's why we have to have a deeper sense of love which means speak the truth but speak it only through yourself what resonates with you without feeling the need to argue with someone else to detriment their own value to kind of devalue them with saying you know you don't like what they're saying so maybe they should say it another way or do or whatever it is just a loving a loving response to everybody is just speaking your truth without a sense of getting involved with someone else without interfering in what they are sharing doing saying because um, it's just so simple when you live in love, it really is. And the bridge is, is always this state, you know, where we're in between many worlds, not just one world. So we have this connection to realms that we can see here. We don't necessarily have to just be here or just there. We're everywhere, the space of the heart, the home, you know, this is what connects us. So I really wanted to get this message across. It's going to be a short one this time because it's very cold here and my legs are falling asleep. Um, and uh, I did say that I'm not going to be so available at this time, but as you can see, I'm, I'm quite fine, <laughs> quite all right. Um, I am busy with my work at this time. I have lots to do, so um, I still feel so called sometimes, you know, to share these messages that just come across. And I feel this is very important because I still experience people who um, have gathered so much spirituality that it makes them almost too spiritual if you know what I mean we're here to be real we're here to be authentic we're here to share with just feeling each other because a lot of times what we forget is to take a deep breath we don't like for example if someone's saying something and we don't resonate just take a breath close your eyes feel behind what the person is saying just feel them feel their essence we can all do that we don't always have to um, just see with our eyes you know just witnessing each other with the eyes and just with the physical senses and what we automatically trick are triggered by or feel a response to that kind of connects with something that we either have a link um, with from the past or past experiences which are actually just assumptions from the old the new energy is always basing even if something is reminding you of something, don't make assumptions, you know, don't make those conclusions because they do cause a lot of separation still. And when we're in this conflict with ourselves, you know, we're going to have this false sense of value for others as well. Because I've had this experience sometimes when people say, you know, they kind of banter all over you and they kind of give you this sense of devaluing you. And then they say, love light, you know, but I love you or something like that. And it's, Love it showing it. Love means showing it. Love means actually showing it with words, with your actions, your deeds, with your energy. Because when someone is in an open state, when they really have love in their hearts in all ways, they, they feel soft, they feel tender, they feel warm. When we don't, when we rather focus our experiences and connections and correspondence, you know, and our communications through the mind, we're, we're going to feel more cold. We're going to feel more, you know. But oftentimes we say things that are very... You know, for example, I oftentimes say things very fast because I'm very hyper being. And um, this doesn't mean necessarily now you're a cool person. You're just, you're just very fast in your responses. And sometimes people take this as, you know, a swift, you know, <laughs> something that they can't understand. But remember, we're not here to fully, fully, fully understand why others are a certain way, why they're doing things their own way. We simply need to allow. 
And love is full allowance, it's full acceptance, it's the beauty of everything. And in my own journey, to be honest, I'm, I'm allowing love to pour through in all ways, you know, not making those um, negations like, I'm not going there because I don't like it, or something like that. Today I could say, okay, you know, I've missed the exit, I'm just going back home. And I've said, hmm, why not just go here and be open? And this goes the same for everything in our lives, because when every area is completely open, when we have just nothing but an open door when we're like an open book fully transparent that's when we really enlighten and you know an enlightened being never closes the door they never shut their heart um even if you say yeah but this person said this to me or they did that or they said that or they hurt me or it doesn't matter because in the end you know it's not about you and them or you know nothing like that it's nothing external it's always between you and spirit and it always will be between you and spirit and if you're li listening to my spirit messages or guided to listen, you can find them on my page, Sit Up In The Light. I'm going now. It's very cold. I'll talk to you guys soon. And stay in the beautiful space of grace. As always, so much love, wisdom, and power. Take care. Bye-bye for now.